ロザンザルス、こんにちは。Uh, 私はマットです。And Matt Deckard, hello from、uh, Los Angeles. I、uh, got a,、uh, you know, I'm a big fan of vintage reproduction clothing and just received a beautiful catalog from my friend Kazuki Kadaka, who runs a shop called Adjustable Costume. There's perhaps seven people who can make a proper Barrymore collar, and I'll show it to you soon. But I just like this. I'm happy that I got some mail from Japan. I hope you're all doing well in this insanity right now that we call. I don't know if I can say it easily on the YouTubes, but we're a, it's, a, it's a bit of a crisis. Hopefully, we can get out soon. I, I miss dancing heavily. It's sad that we can't dance. But this catalog came in. He makes some fantastic stuff. There's a lot of vintage makers out there. Levi's Vintage does very nice things. This is one of their jackets.、Uh, Ralph Lauren copies a lot of vintage things and puts out there. He doesn't really riff on them. Kazuki, he has. Impeccable detail when it comes to getting things exactly right. And、uh, well, let's just go to the first page here. And、uh, you can see him sitting there. Looks like he's playing cards with Buddy. There's the new hat that he's actually got out. It's a wool flat brim. But let's get further into this. When it, when it comes to detail, let me just break it down a bit. They have actually got a pipe in this. That's a bold move. Having somebody with a pipe in a catalog these days. Well done. Well done. And you can see here suit two tweed suits, suspenders, ties, shorter than modern day because the pants are higher than modern day. Nice too, striped suit.、Uh, you know, kind of the、uh, going back to early、uh, turn of the century, there's a bit of a sack cut to that. That look there, and、uh, just, yeah, just not as much of the pinched waist look in that.、Ah, oh, here's something that people、uh, just can't find these days it is a genuine real fur raccoon coat.、Uh, and if you're、uh, offended by the raccoon one, they have one made of recycled straws on the other side, which is a、uh, fake fur raccoon coat. I think I'd go for the real one just because. Well, it's, it's pretty warm out there, but if I ever make that trip I want to do to、uh, Alaska again, I'll have a nice coat. Something to wander around in with a big hat. Horse Nubuck Safari type、uh, pinchback sports coats.、Uh, a little short jacket there. Check out the action back on this one, belted as well. This, I think this is the.、Uh, The PS de Resistance. It is a、um, very well, looks like very well tailored Norfolk suit. Norfolk being, it has a,、uh, actually it's a half Norfolk they'd say, but it's a half belted, belted back, no belt in front, three button, three piece. Vest has a、uh, pretty good cut to it. Trousers as well. There's a bit of a、uh, split back on that.、Uh, adds comfort if you're wearing your. Pants hide. It takes away from that you know, strict waistband we're used to if you haven't worn a pair of、uh, high back trousers before. Have a pair made. Or find some vintage ones, but, or order from Kazuki here. Now, this is the,、uh, the original tweed safari jacket. That's that one, which looks like he just converted a safari look that he had into a tweed, which I. looks great. And it's got a、uh, action back on. No, not that one, but this is another one here. Charcoal. So far, so good. There, again, there are a few makers that do this type of work. I also like the lining in the trousers there. And Kazuki has pioneered being one that has been become just synonymous with fantastically correct with the details. There's the,、uh, it's like a peak lapel,、uh, not fish mouth, but a peak lapel. The lapels kind of go out straight there. Three button, very ornate stripe there with the belt back. This one,、uh, yeah, a couple different suits. I think he's used the same fabric here to make a, looks like a、um, frock coat. 
I actually like frock coats. I just uh, needs to be the right frock coat. I'm waiting to get my Duesenberg. Uh, this one looks more corduroy. Blue corduroy. It looks like a chore jacket in a way. Vest and pants. Can't go without the vest. And the vest is so ornate with the pockets with the patches and the buttons. You could buy that alone and it makes a uh, accent to a great outfit. He cotton heavy cord double breasted vest. Look at this thing. That's, that's kind of a ridiculous workwear that we I know they're they're so expensive to wear it for work is usually not an option unless you're actually making chore vests and making a lot of money but it's it's a beautiful vest I and uh, today it's fashion it's style some uh, cotton heavy cord baggy pants to go with it there you go and there's the more um I think there's the more uh, just something that if you're like uh, Bruce Wayne in your manner and you're tired of wearing the three-piece plain old gray suit, swap it out for a flower print in the middle with your vest. Good job, because I actually like, yeah, it's very uh, floral, adds it a bit of a aristocracy look to it all. And again, he does some amazing knit sweaters as well. He, he did a reproduction of the Prince of Wales, the classic Prince of Wales where he's wearing a big cap. Uh, someday I'll post pictures of that with one of these sweaters. But he does some good knits, classic knits, like they walked right out of the 1920s. And as I was saying before, Barry Moore collar, that is a, it's a beautiful spear point. You should actually check out the website, uh, just uh, Google Kuzuki Kadak. I'll put it in the, the information below. And the company's called Adjustable Costume. But this, this collar is wicked, it's long, it splays out when you open it. It's just that classic 1920s, 30s movie star collar that, it's not as uh, prevalent, I'd say, in the, it's just very American leisure, giant movie star collar that you'd see with a tie, without a tie. You've also got detachable collars here. You don't, uh, hard to keep up, but uh, buy about 10 of them and buy the collars to match when you're, when you're, uh, have that Duesenberg and you'd be set. That's like the shot here of the guy, he's got it with the collar bar, which just, it looks, it looks amazing. It looks great with and without a jacket. And uh, back in the day when, you know, post that time of having that stiff high collar, the luxury turned into having that soft collar that just be, would be languid and hanging out. And, you know, you could afford to just not care. It's, uh, it's beautiful. So, oh, it's also got caps. Some classic uh, Baker Boy, Newsboy, you know, kind of the street. Hey, mister, here's your paper. Caps, various uh, tweeds. And I'd always go for the basic, 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 just the basic brown tweed. And uh, Jameson's, naturally, Shetland since 1893. 20th style casquette. That's, that's what the uh, French call them. Uh, also, as I said before, ties. Something that's uh, getting rarer and rarer is 1930s style ties. They're shorter. Used to be you could go to the you know, Brooks Brothers and they still make you know, kids ties. You can go to the boys department and buy a tie that's shorter and you didn't have to clip off the end and tie it short if you had really high trousers like I wear. But he's not only does he do the tie, but he's got a you know, neckerchief there and a uh, handkerchief there if you want to go for the crazy nine yards. I would uh, I wouldn't match the tie to the handkerchief, but I would do the scarf to the uh, handkerchief. I think that would be weird and interesting. And there you go. If you want to look a little more regal with your uh, morning suit. One, one other thing he does really well is the classic vintage suspenders. Just these, these classic stuff that you cannot find today and if you do the elastic is worn out they're dead but with that uh, x pattern you know most most um suspenders today braces you know they they're supposedly called in the uk in the us we call them suspenders apparently that's what ladies call to keep up their hose over there but the x pattern in the back this goes down to the back of your pants america has a y cut mainly 
most companies that make suspenders today have a straight piece there and then it splits out. Problem I've had with that is when I wear my pants high, like vintage trousers, that long piece is gonna end up at the top of your neck. With the X-Back, that spread is lower. So you're not really, it actually is made to wear with high-waisted trousers. So it's just a good job, somebody with, that we've, something that we've needed and also just classic you know, string ends there to go around the buttons, not the you know, leather with the slit cut in it. He's introduced a couple of hat styles that he's, he's brought into the market for his brand there. Actually, what's interesting about that is they have the, the old school uh, campaign hat, kind of 1800s bow on them. Cut a little long, but that's the 1800s bow. If you want to take a closer look, I'll post pictures later on uh, some pages of mine. But that's the, that's the catalog. Again, Kazuki Kadaka, company's adjustable costume. There's just a handful of companies in the world that do precisely made reproductions of vintage menswear. And there's a, you know, there's a plethora of ones that do okay. And it's just for costume. This company, and think of costume as just a piece to put on, but this company, it's the grade of what you would buy when it was originally made back in the day and it wears very, very well. Again, I'm Matt Deckard. This is adjustable costume and I'm happy I got the catalog and hopefully there's a few things I've ordered that are, haven't made it from Japan yet because of the crisis, but hopefully soon. Take care.